Hey everybody, it's Dre from Bullshit Corner, and today we're going to troubleshoot and solve a P0138 and a P0141 on a 2003 Jeep TJ. I'm going to show you about going about troubleshooting and solving the problem and getting rid of that nasty code. So come with me. So we're just linking up here. So we got a P013802 circuit high voltage bank one sensor two freeze frame data and P0141 bank one sensor two. So now I'm gonna start the Jeep and we're gonna look at the O2 sensors and I want you to pay attention to the data on the O2 sensor, so hold on. So now we're gonna go to live data. See our spark advance, intake air temperature, throttle position sensor. All right. So we look at here. So we got um, our data right here 0 0.41.0. So we need to go to uh, bank one, sensor two. It's reading one, and bank two sensor two. See how it's bouncing around? But bank one sensor two just stays at one. That is uh, systematic that your O2 sensor is failed on that one. That O2 sensor is just one that monitors your um, fuel mixture after the main O2 sensor because bank one, sensor one, is the one that actually mixes the fuel. So, so look at that, so we got Bank 2 sensor 1 is both jumping around. Bank 2 sensor 2 is jumping around. So we're going to scroll up. And bank 1 sensor 1 is jumping around, but bank 1 sensor 2 is staying constant. So that is making me believe that sensor is false. So what we're going to do is change that sensor. I'll reset the code and reread the live data. All right, so there's the O2 sensor we got to change out. That is bank one sensor two it's below your catalytic converter and it's a short one so here's a replacement o2 sensor right here it's got a short cable and that is for sensor one bank two the other one uh bank two sensor two has a quite a bit longer cable so it's pretty hard to fuck it up i imagine some people just may do that so we're gonna go ahead remove that o2 sensor put the new one in and restart it before you remove the O2 sensor, you probably would like to uh, disconnect the wiring first. It makes things a hell of a lot easier. Just giving you a tip. So the new one comes with anti-seize on it, so I didn't even have to add that. And then here's the old one right here. Not too much to look at. It's actually probably still good because when I went to remove the cable, I don't think I connected it properly. But oh well, I'll have a fucking backup if that's the case. All right, the new one's installed. Now we're gonna reset the code and start the Jeep and see what happens. All right, so I'm just gonna turn my ignition on. Press the link button. Now we're going to erase the codes. See, and now we're gonna reboot it. Perfect, now we're gonna start it up. Relink. Go to live data. See now bank one sensor two is dancing around just like bank two sensor two is doing. Just like it's supposed to not just stay at one. Fucking beer holder in the Jeep. Yep, I think I'm gonna call that good. 
So there you have it. That was a quick video on uh, troubleshooting and diagnosing the problem with uh, P0138 and P0140, I think it was, or 141 anyways. Um, like I said, you've watched the uh, live data screen on my code scan. You can tell that the O2 sensor is actually functioning now, where before it wasn't. So I'm hoping that's the case. If something else changes, I'll update in the video. But uh, as far as the old one goes, that code was pre-existing from before, so I'm just going to garbage it because I'm not going to keep it around. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.